Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing beautiful bombshell balayage. I'm Chuck. I'm a hairdresser, photographer, and salon owner located in Austin, Texas. Okay, let's mix up. Today, I'll be using Pravana's Pure Light Balayage Lightener. That's my absolute favorite clay-based lightener. As well as, I'll be using 50 Volume Developer or the high developer in the Pravana Pure Light line. And everyone's favorite, Olaplex, to make sure my client's hair is just as healthy when we're done as it was when we started. And then I like to whisk everything together to make sure that I get a really nice, smooth consistency. I go from the high crown area to just behind the ears on each side and divide this into three sections. I have that divided into three sections. I go ahead and part off the first section I'm gonna work on with clips. And I like to go ahead and pre-part each section out so that it makes everything work a little faster. All right, so let's start painting. I like to load my paddle up with uh, a thin layer of lightener. And then we'll just dip back into that whenever I need to. On this side of the head, you can really see the pressure that I'm using. Uh, you can't necessarily see the technique, but you can definitely see the pressure. And now that I'm moving to the next side, uh, you can, you'll be able to see the technique. So in these first couple of sections, you'll notice that I go through and lay out the groundwork first. I like to kind of put in the, uh, the sides where I'm laying in just a little extra lightener, and then I slowly move it up. That middle part is very, very lightly covered, so it just adds what I like to call sparkle. It adds a little bit of lightness through that area, but it's not the main highlight. The main attraction is those side areas where you see I've applied the lightener a little heavier. Okay, I'm going to finish working up the back of her head and then we're going to move on to the side section. You'll notice when I'm gathering the hair for a section, that I will often run my fingers over the section multiple times just to make sure that I've pulled any flyaways in. Um, those tend to make your lightener sit really funny on the hair, so make sure that you've really smoothed the hair out before you start applying lightener. You guys can really see here on this side panel how I, I change up each section depending on what I'm doing. I don't want it to look too uniform. I want it to really be broken up and there's gonna be some areas where I'm leaving some depth in, some areas where I'm painting a little heavier and getting a, a bit of brightness, uh, but I'm definitely leaving a bit more depth in underneath like the sun would naturally do. And the last sections on top, I lay the lightener on a little heavier. 
so that we achieve maximum brightness. The thicker it is, the brighter that it will lift. And you'll notice as I move to the next side that I am applying much lighter here at the bottom. I want it to just, again, have some sparkle up at the top and then move into much brighter towards the bottom. This will help with the ease of grow out and making everything look really beautiful. And again, on these last two sections, I'm applying a lot of lightener because I want to achieve a lot of lift and get her that really nice bright blonde she's looking for. Now that we've got all the lightener applied, it's time to process. So today, all we did for toning was Catwalk's Fashionista Violet Shampoo, and that's all she needed. It was perfect. All right, it's blow dry time. I'm just gonna go ahead and power dry through everything. Knock out a bit of the moisture and then we'll go ahead and divide everything off and I'm blow drying today with my Harry Josh Ultra Light Pro Dryer as well as my Sporanet Long Smooth Operator Round Brush. These are my favorite two tools for blowing out hair. During the blow dry, notice how much depth is still left in the hair. I, I added a ton of brightness, but I left in lots of depth so that that brightness has the contrast to really pop off of. You can really see how beautiful those blondes are sitting right beside some of those darker pieces. All right, I'm gonna finish up the blow dry and just kind of let you watch and again, notice how if you look under each section, there's a lot of beautiful depth as I'm blow dry. So yeah, I'm going to be quiet for a minute. Enjoy. All right guys, as I finish up this final side, we'll move to the top. This client wears her hair in a center part, so 
I saved that section for last. And as you can see, when it all comes down, there's lots and lots of blonde, beautiful, beautiful depth still left in the hair. Just gorgeous balayage. Look as everything falls into place, how beautiful this color is. Oh, it's so nice. All right guys, that's it. That's my beautiful bombshell balayage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button so that you know every time I post. I'll be posting weekly and you don't want to miss a thing. See you soon.